Hey, I feel like posting a story time video today because it's Sunday. I have a few projects I've been working on this month, but one of my most favorite things about October is whenever I travel with my mom, we usually go to Williamsburg and I love the energy there in um, Williamsburg. The I Since I've opened up to my psychic and medium abilities and realized that that's like what all of this experiences, all of these experiences I've been having are from that. Um, I realize that's why I like to go there because it's very haunted. But um, we go there for the haunted houses at Bush Gardens. And this year, my niece is working at Disney. So we're going to Disney instead. And I get to go to the haunted houses at Horror Nights at Universal. And I'm so excited for that. Um, so I may not get to finish all of the projects that I've been working on. And I know I stopped the series I was posting about my Penhurst painting whenever other things came up, but I think that I'm starting to learn that I need to only work on one thing at a time instead of trying to keep up a series and work on this project and this project and that project and everything else while I'm trying to get ready to go for vacation. It's okay to just enjoy it because I love October. I love the spooky feeling when the veil is thin between the worlds. I had this greatest, greatest um, confirmation about being on my path, uh, being like right on my path today through a TikTok I saw and I want to make a story time about that. It's related to my Saraswati painting. It was one of my very first Dutch pours and one of my first paintings where I was like, oh my gosh, okay. like. This was her energy coming through. But back then I didn't realize that it was like the same thing as what I do now with painting with energy. That's so cool. That might be one of the first times I noticed it when I didn't realize that it was connected to everything else that I realize now. That's so cool. Um, but, um, we're leaving tomorrow and I get to spend some time with my niece uh, that I haven't seen for a while while she's been at Disney and um, just get that fun haunted house thing going with my mom like we always do in October. I'm so excited. I've been like putting off getting excited about my trip because of all of the projects and all the videos I want to post and I have my new song come out. That's why I started making this video. I had my new song come out Friday the 13th, and that was supposed to just be it, the highlight of the month. I've been trying so hard, I've been working so hard on a new sound, and I've been making a guided meditation track for it. And I have been using one sound editing app so far, and I just started using a new one after I put all the pieces together the way I want it, and I put it into a new app, and I can play with the sounds a little bit more to make it more like a progressional song, like I want it and I, my guided meditation fits right in. I snuck in um, a little bit of me playing one of my Native American flutes and I'm so excited. I, um, that's what I've been working really hard on lately because I was thinking that I wanted to get it in to try to release it for, no, or for October 31st, but I keep being pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and not finishing it. But that's because I'm finding more and more and more fun things that I can do with it. So my lesson learned is I put out my song this month. That was my big release for October was my song, my Hecate inspired energetic art. I've been putting out one new full length YouTube video every week. And um, I'm not sure about next weekend uh, while it, because I will be on vacation, uh, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'll do two the following week if I miss out. And um, I'm just supposed to do that. Like, that's my work. I did all that fun stuff at the beginning of the month, and now I can go on vacation and have fun at Disney and have fun seeing... I'm so excited to go to Horror Nights because I am so used to Hallow Scream that I'm so excited to see the different themes and the different, um, everything different at Universal. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, mm. So if I don't post a lot until I get back, I will have a lot of footage to share. I still haven't shared a lot of my PourCon stuff because I've been working on October stuff. 
which this meditation, I'm enjoying it so much. This is like next level creation artist brain thing for me. Um, and I like it so much. So I hope that other people do. I don't, I don't have any idea for a release day yet. I was pushing and pushing for October 31st, but I keep not having it finished. And then I keep getting upset that I don't have it finished. They request like three to four weeks in advance before your release day, whenever you submit something to my publishing company, just to make sure everything goes through okay. So I keep stressing because I wanted it out October 31st, but Hakate keeps telling me just live in the moment of the Friday the 13th song. That's why there was a Friday the 13th that this month. Yes, this is a fun, fun project that I will work on through this month of October. And I can continue to work on it maybe when I'm in Florida. That's so cool. I won't come up with the release day until I'm finished with the product that I'm happy with and excited to share. Um, I'm, this is so fun. I love it. And... It might be a mid-November thing. It might be a December thing. I don't know. 